very first commandment is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And yes, I realize that anything we put before God can be an idol, but God was being extremely specific here. He was talking about the carved image, the tree worship, the rock worship. He said, You shall have no other gods before me. It is the very first commandment out of what we know as the major ten. God instructed his people to have no other gods before him at all. In fact, when we look at the Bible, when it comes to the book of Kings and Chronicles, every time there's a king that wants to do right, what does God instruct him to do? Or he does, does it on his own. He doesn't necessarily just tear down the image, but he goes and he tears down all the high places. Why would they tear down all the high places? Because that's where the place of the worship of the idol took place. Everything that was associated with that idol was an abomination. As long as you had just one tree left in that grove, it was a remembrance of the worship of that idol. And therefore, that idol, in a sense, had a foothold still there in Israel. It's just like our lives. Anything that we leave before God still has a foothold. We have to eradicate it completely from our lives. This is just what was going on here with the high place. Everything had to be removed because as long as one shrub stayed, it was still our remembrance of that idol. And when we look at the Word of God, all the high places were always cut down and destroyed whenever Israel was turning back to God. If someone would go ahead and please read Judges chapter 25, Sorry, Judges 6. Let's, let's go to Leviticus 26 and verse 30. Leviticus 26 and 30. And if someone else would find 2 Chronicles 14.3. 2 Chronicles 14.3. And I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses on the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. God is instructing Israel that if you go and worship these gods and build areas to them in temples, high places, I will destroy all of those high places which are associated with your gods. I will cut down your images. We've seen that done in First Samuel chapter five with uh, Dagon, how God just literally physically cut the God in half. Yeah. And he said, I will put your carcasses upon that God. Basically, if you go up pouring after that God of worshiping it and don't come my way, I will let you remain with your God. And when it's dead and I'm done with it, I will let your dead body remain there because that's where you chose to abide. You didn't want me, you wanted that God, so now you will stay with your God. How about Second Chronicles chapter 4? 14 and verse 3. Break away the altar of the strange gods, and the high places break down the images, and cut down the bones. Let's go back to one more passage of Scripture. And this just shows us how God wants all idols, especially those of the heathen with the idol, Little we literally the card ones, the tree worship, the earth worship, the nature worship. God wants all those things done away with before anyone can come to him because no man can serve two masters. If someone would please read Judges chapter six, verses twenty-five through twenty-six. Judges six, twenty-five and twenty-six. Build an altar upon 
Hearts, 